It's now been a month since the first ever Ultimate PGR rankings came out, and there have been a ton of majors in that time like EVO, SmashCon, and Shine, just to name a few. And with the summer of Smash coming to a close, we thought there would be no better time to update the top end of this list based on these last two months of Ultimate. And if you're looking for help on climbing up the ranks to hang with Ultimate's best, hey, check out ProGuys.com, guys, for on-demand coaching through InstaPro to get you prepared to compete at the next major. Our new Pro Pass grants you free passes to InstaPro, along with many other exclusive content all posted daily hey guys what's up this is your guy your friend keith allen if you want to connect with me i would love to hear from you on my instagram hey we got a lot going on these days so because our list gets much more debatable as we head closer to the number 10 spot we're going to start at number one and go from there and absolutely to no one's surprise okay mk leo is still the best player in smash ultimate having his lowest placing being second and his worst loss being to only the 19th best player in the world shows that leo is insanely consistent and on top of all of that he has picked up 21 pg GR wins, which no other player on this list has come anywhere close to. This is why MK Leo should be thought of in a tier all of his own because he is the current undisputed king of ultimate. But after this unarguable number one spot, I don't think anyone is 100% entitled to their spot, so be sure to leave your own personal list down in the comments and tell us why you agree or disagree with our list. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this next tier for us, we've got Tweak, Mars, and Samsora rounding out the second, third, and fourth spots. Okay, so let's briefly look at their tournament results individually before we start talking about how they should be ordered. First, let's talk about Tweak. So despite having a character crisis across these last couple of months, Tweak has surprisingly stayed quite consistent. His claim on second best would have been pretty much undeniable to the most if not for Shine where he dropped two close sets to Goblin and Nairo. Dropping two sets to players outside his tier of play is concerning in of itself, but the fact that a very similar thing happened at Smash and Splash where he lost to Wizrobe and the Great Gonzalez makes me concerned that this is going to be something that's going to continue to rear its ugly head for Tweak. And on top of all of that, he hasn't taken a single set off of Leo in this time frame, whereas both Mars and Samsora have both taken more than a single set. So let's look at Mars. The crown jewel of his resume is his flawless win at Smash Factor 8, where he doubled eliminated MK Leo. Everything around then is good, but the losses to Leon, Nietano, and Nairo sprinkled in there, along with being 0-2 against both DaBuzz and Tweak, you know, that just really hurt his claim for the number two spot. There are so many matchups in the game and hundreds of dangerous players who could just pull off upsets at every event. Being consistent and demonstrating that through your results is so important for being considered the best player in Ultimate. The last contender in this tier is Sam Sora. Since low tier city, where he got double eliminated by the currently unranked Luigi player Elegant, Sam Sora has only lost to Tweak and MKLeo. Besides, it's not like the pair have been destroying him either. He's 3-4 and four against MKLeo and 1-1 one and one against Tweak in this period. An incredible spread to have against the current top two. Sam is also the only one of these three to have two big tournament wins during this time period, with Shine being far more prestigious than low tier City or Smash Factor. Where you end up placing Samsora is heavily dependent on how heavily you hold his fifth at low tier City against him. But for us here at Pro Guys, Samsora is our current second best in the world. He's the only one who has beaten MK Leo at more than one event and he's only lost to three players in two months. Neither Tweak or Mars can match that or stand up to his head-to-heads at this level. Tweak is right there behind him at the third best. He really only needs two things to climb back into that second spot. First, Tweak needs to clean up the losses portions of his resume, which will hopefully come once he's settled into what character he wants to main, or at least decides which character he's comfortable with throughout a spread of matchups. And second, he needs to beat MK Leo. He's gotten so close in this period, so getting that one extra hit he needed shouldn't be that difficult. That places Mars at four. Earth. Not having a tweak win and having a much longer list of losses than the other boys around him keeps him from having a strong argument for being considered over Tweak or Sam. He's not nearly as close to Tweak as Tweak is to Sam Sora, but with a major win or a significant decline on Tweak's part, Mars could easily sneak his way into the top three later on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us down to our third tier, which we've got the Buzz and Nairo fighting for the fifth best slot. These two haven't been able to get anywhere near the peaks that the four players above them have reached, but they've had enough quality performances to separate separate them from the pack below them. All right, so let's start with DeBuzz. His strong Rosalina and Palutena secondaries have thankfully allowed him to weather the Olimar nerfs much better than others at his skill level. This unfortunately cannot prevent his curse of underperforming at SmashCon with him adding a 49 to the pair of 33 finishes he's gotten at previous events in the series. He picked up a lot of good wins in the period and pushed Tweak to game 10 at Low Tier City, but he also accrued three losses to unranked players. Fortunately for him, nearly all the other players around this portion of the list also have, you know, 
know, similarly bad losses. But Nairo isn't one of those players as Mr. R is the only non-top five player he's lost to. This is obviously aided by the fact that he's only attended three large events in the post-ranking period. However, picking wins over Tweak and Mars while finishing third at Shine does blow everyone else's performance out of the water, this being the main reason why he's a tier above the rest. So, then the fight between these two center around one question. How much does the buzz and attendance at two more events make up for his bad losses? Generally, you know, we would reward the player with greater attendance, but the fact that the buzz had at least one bad loss at every single event leads us to give the slight edge to Nairo. These two, I mean, they really are neck and neck, and any slight change could very easily swap our choice for the fifth. With those six placed in their spot, we move down into the fourth and final tier, where it gets even more difficult to order these players. The issue of attendance and non-US players having to fly far to events is certainly being factored at this point. But with all of that in mind, okay, we've highlighted a couple of players that could potentially be in the discussion for the tier based on recent tournament performances. Okay, so we got Shoe Tone, Gluttony, Boyd, Cosmos, Light, and Zachary. Shoe Tone ended up as the highest placing Japanese player on the PGR after his dominance in Japan, paired along with great US performances like his win at Prime Saga. This being said, he hasn't been able to replicate his dominance domestically nor overseas since the ranking period. In Japan, he dropped sets to Navy, Ron, and Brood, all of who did not make an appearance on Japan's first top 30 PR. He couldn't even escape losing to his fellow Japanese players in the US as he was double eliminated by his countrymen at EVO. We know that Shoe Tone is a fantastic ultimate player from the first half of the year, but that can only carry him so far. We're not going to beat around the bush for Void. The nerfs to Pichu have killed his momentum entirely. If Tweak is having a character crisis, Void is having a character catastrophe. With this resume, he's unfortunately not in this conversation, but COG fans are certainly hoping that he'll bounce back soon. Light is another player that has been on a bit of a decline lately, but not nearly as steep as Shoe Tone or Void. His Samsor and Shoe Tone losses are the only really forgivable ones based on his previous rank of 10, which is incredibly concerning. But the nice stretch of top eight finishes at larger events keep him from sinking too far into the ranking depths with wins over Mars, DeBuzz, and Zach Ray being the highlights. Cosmo's resume is yet another gaunt one we wanted to quickly show off to you. He's only had time for two events, and neither of them went particularly well for him. Unfortunately, he's not even close to cracking the top 10 for this period so far. Much like his fellow countryman Shoe Tone, Zach Ray went from a promising start early on in Ultimate to getting quickly passed by other players both in and outside his region. T was ranked 19th on Japan's first PR, but Zach also dropped sets to Rain and Chicken, both who didn't make the cut for PR. Fortunately, his ventures to the US during this period were a bit more fruitful for pick up wins over top players. Glutiny is the last player we're going to look at before we attempt to rank this batch of players. Glutiny did compete at a couple of regionals beyond these two events, all of which he won. He only dropped sets with secondaries, but because of the lack of the other ranked players in France, we decided not to include this on his resume. However, we do see a pretty impressive list of results for such a small sample size. Glutiny has many top 20 wins, while Meister is his only bad loss. <laughs> well, with that being said, there's a good chance that Meister could end up as top 20 during this period as it is. There isn't really anyone with a strong claim for these four spots, but Void and Cosmos both unfortunately do not make the cut. All of the remaining four have some not so tremendous losses, but Light's list of wins stands above the rest with wins against Mars, DeBuzz, and Zachary, doing most of the heavy lifting, securing him the seventh spot. These last three spots are hard, but we'll give it to Zachary at eighth, Glutiny at 9th, and Shoe Tone at 10th. Zach Ray's greater attendance is what gets him the nod over Glutiny, and his few local losses gets him the nod to the title of Japan's best player over Shoe Tone. Glutiny then jumps from his current 14th all the way to 9th, getting the benefit of the doubt for consistency, mostly because of how well he performed at out-of-region events. That wraps up our post-summer of Smash Top 10 ranking. So like we mentioned before, let us know down in the comments how your list differs from ours. Once again, guys, this is your guy, your friend Keith Allen and make sure to connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you and stay tuned right here to Pro Guys for future rankings as Ultimate gets closer to finishing the first year of its competitive life cycle. Make sure you drop a subscribe on the channel and get those notifications so you can be the first to up up your smash game right here with Pro Guys.